Hi guys, this video is brought to you by Outtalk.co.uk for your post, pre-match and Sheffield Wednesday discussions with fellow Wednesdayites. Hi guys and welcome to the Sheffield Wednesday Nottingham Forest review. Now we are at home, we are the guy game, so we are the late game of today kickoffs. Now we are without Forstieri for about three months which is a massive blow if you ask me. I think that's a huge blow. We lose something. No Leuven because he's injured. No Hutch either. But it sounds like the two centre-backs that we brought in have started to fit in really, really well. And starting to look really like they're ready for it. Now, Lee is back in midfield today, which is fantastic. I can't wait to see how we get on with him in midfield because he always makes him tick. Uh, the team new today is Westwood, Hunt, Van Aken, Lees, Reach, Wallace, Jones, Lee, Bannon, Fletcher, Hooper. The subs are Wildsmith, Rowe, Butterfield, Palmer, Zhao, Boyd and Boodle. Now Zhao will give us that extra base uh, as we go forward if, if we need to bring him on. It'll be interesting to see if Butterfield gets a run. And it'd be nice to see what Rose and a Zhao partnership might look like. It's one of those ones that no one's actually thought about looking at. Uh, it could work out quite well with Zhao being the p player running, bombing on and uh, Road just getting ready for the pass. So it'll be interesting to see how we do. Hopefully we can get all three points today, but it's going to be a tough game because Forest have started extremely well. So let's see how we get on. Well, that first half was... Interesting, we took the lead and it was a great lead from their mistake and we were playing really good football, getting out there and getting really forward, but it's that typical thing with Wednesday at the moment. We have a good 10 minutes and then we kind of let them come back into the game. We never be able to dominate the entire of the game. So we let them come back into it. Uh, Van Aken's done well so far apart from when they make it one all, and he really should have stayed on his feet. But that's the kind of thing you'll learn in time uh, in the UK game. In Duck game, it kind of you can go in like that and be okay. But uh, I think if he stayed on his feet, we may don't go one. Uh, they don't get the goal, and it'd be one all. But apart from the equaliser, since the equaliser, it's been all. Forest and that's kind of concerning. We really need to start upping our game a little bit more. But we've had a couple of little chances from Hooper and Fletcher, but nothing really dominant. And it kind of wants that thing we want to get this next goal so we can properly go out at them because at the moment we are struggling at times to get out of our half. They couldn't nearly made it 2 1 at the end of the half. But we've done well so far, but I still think we're going to have to massively improve and get going in the second half because if we're not careful, they could punish us. But we have shown signs where we've done very well. But I would be very worried about what we do in the second half. We really need to go at them and we can't sit back like we are doing because we're sitting very deep and then allowing pressure onto us and I want us to go out a bit more attacking and try and get a goal or two to get a 3-1 win would be fantastic if there's like this 2-1 win and then sit back we need to start attacking teams well that second half was wow uh, we did really well uh, we did sit back a little bit too much which was slightly annoying because they did come forward really well. Uh, while he shoots and he went over the bar. But we do get back into it. Back to a good corner by Lee. Um, a great header by uh, Fletcher. And they don't pick him up. No marking, no nothing. They just completely let Fletcher be... Uh, no one on him. And it's still kind of mistakes that they have been really poor with uh, Forest. They have been really bad from corners. So we make it 2-1 and you're thinking, great, can we hold on to this lead and just go in and stay on. Uh, and we do tend to start dipping a little bit. Uh, Boyd comes on for Fletcher and we make it 3-1 three -nil, three -nil, though. Thanks to Lee. Lee was outstanding today been what we've been missing in a long time and i said before the game we are so much better when we start when we start poor and we had had a better start technically point wise like carlos was saying than we had under his reign but we always tend to play a lot better after the international break once the international breaks 
happen. We come back and we start playing better. It's like we can't get things going in pre-season. Uh, to start going straight at game, but once we've had a couple of games, we can get back into it. So, we make it 3-1, it's fantastic. Lee comes off a bottle field, um, don't want to pick up an injury. Rogue comes on, two for Hooper. And we always had some little bit of play with doing really well, just trying to get in behind them. But at the end of the day, we got all three points, and it's a fantastic result for us. Uh, first home win, which is much needed. We've got a game on... Tuesday night against Brentford at home, so it'll be good to see how we do in that game. But much better game, much more solid. Uh, Van Aken at the back looks superb. Yeah, he made a mistake for their goal, but he looked pretty damn solid. And what I like to see with Westwood giving him encouragement all the time. And he looks a really good prospect, to be honest with you. So hopefully we can keep him in the team, keep everyone fit, keep Lee fit, and just go on to the next game and hopefully get three points. Don't forget to have your say at altalk.co.uk after the match.